What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday and we have got Epics, Maldini, Mataus and Petr Cech. Maldini Monday, that's what we're calling it. So I will be streaming. Thanks to Ron, a big supporter of the channel. We will be streaming and spinning and going collar deep for Maldini, Mataus and Cech and seeing if we can get him. See how many spins it takes us. See how we're going to train him. I wanted to get a quick review out. I know a lot of people are asking me mostly about Maldini. We will be streaming straight away after this video drops. So make sure you check out the live stream. We're going to be training the players up live, testing them live, and really just kind of seeing how they work. Like, Maldini is going to be the next, I think, main centre-back that people are going to be interested in using. And obviously, he is going to be a bit of a beast. We'll show you a quick build of him here in a second. If you guys don't have time to watch the stream, pop in and pop out every, every now and again if you guys want to come in and say hello. Mataus, again, a player that I'm really looking forward to using as well. I haven't really used him this season. And of course, we do have Czech. Now, I'm going to show you a build, uh, or I'm going to show you a version of Mataus if you already have him. A lot of people did spin for Czech and Mataus before, um, but I do feel that Maldini is going to be the mainstay here in this squad, right? So, this is part of the National Garden Guardians Epics. It is in here. As I said, here we will be spinning on Ron's account here. You have 14,000 coins. We are going to be going deep for the main man, Maldini. <coughs> Excuse me, lads. I'm a bit under the weather. Maldini, Mataus, and of course, Petr Cech. This is in a box of 150 players. And of course, you're going to have a lot of these guys in here that are just not really where you want to go with them. There's a couple of, I mean, Posh in there is, is, is actually a really good card. But the rest of the standard cards, it's all about the three epics, right? Now, before we go anywhere, right, I do want to show you something that if you have already got, and it goes for pretty much Maldini as well. Although I do think this Maldini is a little bit more... Uh, how would you say it? I think this Maldini is a little bit more kind of, there's more to him. But if you have any other version of the card, right? If you've got a, a different version of Maldini or you have a version of Mataus, it depends on whether or not you want to spin or not, you know? Um, because I do feel like if you have this version of him here, this is a very, very solid card. I mean, you're going to have in this position here, 101 overall as a CMF box to box. It's a very strong card if you've already spun for that one. Same goes for Czech, same goes for Maldini. It just depends on what you want to have in your squad. I mean, some people like to have, uh, you know, multiple versions of the same card. Um, but yeah, we'll see that on the stream. We're going to be doing the stream very, very quickly after this video goes live, right? So it's all going to be about Maldini. Check again, you know what you're getting with Check. I rate him as the best keeper in the game. Some people will say David Seaman. Some people will say uh, Peter Schmeichel. I think Petr Cech is the main man, lads. Goalkeeper awareness and reflexes off the rip at 83. With his booster, he's going to be getting a plus to all of those stats. And pretty much his awareness and reflexes with the manager boost are going to be at 90, as it is. You know, it's ridiculous. Obviously, his jumping doesn't need much because he does have a lot of height in 196 cm. He's got low punt and long throw. Excellent. I mean, absolutely perfect. Um, and he looks like a beast as well. 22 years of age, Petr Cech. Very, very nice card. Very, very nice with the 27 levels. If he had about 30 levels, I don't even think it would make a difference. The card is what it is. And I don't think he'll ever let you down, really. Now, also, we did take a quick look at the German beast in midfield as well. This guy is down as an orchestrator with 33 levels. He does have a different booster with the dueling plus two. Awareness to his defense, tackle speed, stamina. It's a nice card still. I think with those 33 levels, if you get your speed and acceleration up to around the 80, 85 mark... The rest of your stats then are going to be either defensive or attacking. I would go with this card, even though his dribbling and ball control are quite low and attacking awareness. I would definitely go with this card, similar to how I would train Jack Wilshire or similar how I would train kind of a, an, a you know, a kind of pressing attacking midfielder. Jack Wilshire is a great um, example. Gabby is a great example as well, where you have a little bit of aggression, you have a bit of defensive awareness and tackling. And you're just able to kind of, yeah, I just feel like that these attacking midfielders or these centre midfielders will be able to get around the pitch a little bit more. Maybe not attacking midfielder, more central, um, more defensive than you would think uh, this guy needs to go. But it is going to be all about Maldini, right? Now, as I said, I am going to be streaming. Um, Maldini is 22 years of age here. He's down as a defensive fullback. His booster is to acceleration, jumping, tackling, and defensive awareness, which is big. And of course, he's got the defending plus two jewel, uh, or the defensive awareness, defending uh, plus two booster, tackling, aggression, uh, tackling, acceleration, and jumping is pretty nice as well. And really nice stats straight off the rip and skills. You've got Fortress, of course, as his main Showtime skill as well. That's going to make a little bit of a difference, I think, to this card overall. And that Showtime skill, I do think it's probably... Look, going into eFootball 2025, um, or just eFootball as it's known now, I do think that that's going to make a big 
uh, there's going to be a big change to eFootball 25 and how the boosters. I think we'll we'll talk about that a bit later on um, and, and kind of my predictions and stuff um, of putting two and two together. But I do think that this defensive fullback Maldini is going to be more... I think he's just going to be more solid than any other version of Maldini. He's got 35 levels. He's got every skill you could possibly want. Now, I'm going to show you a really, really quick build. This was sent in to me by Egyptino, and I really can't argue with that build. Apart from the one change I would make to this, I don't think you need the speed as high as that. I know that the stamina and kick and power is going to be huge with this as well. I would probably max out his tackling and defensive engagement with 99, if I could. Because with the speed here, you're going to have to go a lot with the speed into this build. Uh, acceleration at 80 is more than enough for a card like this as a defensive fullback. I know that this is more of a kind of a fullback, like a left back position build. I would probably just switch it and bring the speed down to about 85. I don't think you need speed more than 85 now. If you're going for speed more than 85 on a left or right back, such as Maldi or such as Carlos or somebody like Trent, I do think you need it at about 95 rather than 90. 90 is kind of a middle way. If you want speed, you need to go more than that to overcompensate for the fast wingers. But the speed in the game, lads, I think that's going to be changed quite a lot because it is a little bit busted at the moment that by the time you pass the ball or by the time you dribble the ball in a straight line or pass the ball in a straight line, mostly in this game, every defender can catch you up. You know what I mean? By the ball, by the time the ball goes from A to B, in between that is going to be caught. So I do feel like that the speed stat here could be reduced a little bit, but it is a decent build. Um, but yeah, let me see. I'm going to train him up. As I said, we will be live straight after this. By the time this video goes up, we will be ready to rock and roll. So let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip. If not, you can jump into stream. If you're watching this after I stream, you can watch back the stream as well. But until then, I will chat you in a little bit and I'll see you in the stream. Peace.